Viva Tribers, we've made it to Friday, Friday, and it's May 6th. And thank you for being here with me as we continue to read from our heroes in training. And today we're looking at Acts 9 and 6, which says, Lord, what do you want me to do? Seeing the light is the topic. Saul was on his way to Damascus to kill Christians. As a good Pharisee, he thought that anyone who believed in Christ was wrong and should be killed. Saul and his men were riding their horses along the road when all of a sudden they saw a blinding light. Saul fell from his horse and heard a voice say, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? It was Jesus. Jesus himself had come to talk to Saul. Saul was afraid and so were the men with him. They could hear the voice but they didn't see anyone. Saul realized that he had been very, very, very wrong about Jesus and the Christians. Jesus told him to go to Damascus and wait. And when and then he was gone. Saul tried to look around him, but the bright light had blinded him. His men took his arms and led him into the city. He was blind for three days before his sight came back. Saul's experience on the Damascus road changed his life for good. He went from being Saul, the killer of Christians, to Paul, the preacher of Jesus. Paul was a hero for God. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. I heard something. Paul was a hero for Jesus because he was willing to give everything to do what was right. He had to change his way of thinking after God showed him that he was wrong. He lost his job and probably many of his friends and a family who probably did not understand. But Paul was willing to put Jesus first. There is nothing more than a relationship with Jesus. Like Paul, we should turn our whole lives over to Jesus and commit ourselves to doing what is right. Seeing the light. Yes, indeed. My Devo Tribers, I pray that we will continue to see the light of Jesus as to how he wants us to be and what he wants us to do. Let us pray. Blessed Jesus, mighty God, our heavenly friend and father. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for being with us. And thank you for allowing us to be able to choose you and to do what it means to do everything right for you. Father, I pray for every Devo Tribe or every superhero in training for you today. That indeed we will remember what it means to be your you, to be your heroes, to be your representatives. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for strengthening us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you on Sunday, my Diva Drivers. <laughs>